Hi, Dad. We started tearing apart the wall today, and I wanted to share with you what we have found. Here's a diagram of the wall. Here is my door. Here's uh, one switch, two switch, outlet in the kitchen, outlet on the other side. Now, three wires come in over the door sill. One shoots all the way down to this outlet and stops, which makes sense because all kitchen outlets need to be their own circuit. Okay, you want my lap? All right. And, ugh, monkey. All right, this outlet, which faces the living room, has two wires coming out of it. Both of them go to a switch. Ugh, sorry, Sam's wiggling. Um, Outlet. Wire one goes up to the switch and then up and then out the door. Then Other out outlet the door. wire goes up to switch, out through door. Both wires coming out of the switches are noticeably thinner than your standard Romex. All the other wires feel like standard Romex. So my big question here is, where does this outlet get its power? It's supplying power to the switches and then the switches, of course, send the power oh. up to the lights. Oh! But where does this power, where does this outlet get power from? I don't know! It's mystery! Is there any way, Dad, that... Well, I can't imagine this would work. I mean, I took a look at this outlet, I took the faceplate off, and all I saw were wires coming in from the, the two on the top. So, what the heck? Do you have any ideas at all? and what I can do to figure out the mystery of this outlet because I have groped the backside of that box through the hole in the wall quite extensively and I've got nothing. I don't know if there's anything I mean, going through the stud into it. Is that something standard? Is that something that could happen? I don't know. I would love your opinion. And we're gonna tear this wall down uh, this week. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to come down and help us with wiring, we would love some expertise. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dad. We love you. Bye-bye.